Hi, I'm Mehul here with DevExpress. In this video, you're going to meet Mark Hazelton, who has developed a fantastic SharePoint web portal in SharePoint 2010. Now, Mark is a SharePoint web developer who built this website for a client of his, a consulting company that needed help with benchmarks. And he makes great use of all the DevExpress HP.NET controls, everything from the grid view to the charts to the editors. So take it away, Mark. The first thing I wanted to show you was the ability to generate charts using the DevExpress chart control into a SharePoint picture library. The reason this was really important was the, uh, the client wanted to take the benchmarking data that they had gathered and then run some charts or basically generate some charts based on that data, save those into a SharePoint chart library, and then use the SharePoint chart library functionality to generate a PowerPoint deck to then present the findings of the benchmarking study. So what we ended up doing was we created a, a custom content type where we inherited from the SharePoint picture content type and created, a, and created a, a specific chart content type. And then we used the benchmarking data to create profiles of the charts we wanted to create. And then we would generate the charts on the fly using the DevExpress chart control and then taking the image that was created and checking it into the SharePoint library. So if you come come over here, we can look at the process to build all the charts. So what this what this page does is it goes through and grabs all the freshest data and then runs it through an engine that will go through and generate the charts based on configuration parameters so that we can always have the latest and greatest version of the charts. Uh, and then when you can go and look in the chart library, and then you'll notice this is just a basic SharePoint chart library um, with images that we can then use in many purposes. But the primary purpose was we could then select them and then open a PowerPoint project um, in, with using these chart images. The second thing that we needed to do was uh, how to configure the charts. We wanted an, an online tool that would allow us to quickly and easily modify the charts that we that we have created. So this was another custom bit of development that was done. This is a, a SharePoint web application page that has a, a set of user controls that are in here that take care of grabbing the data source, which is where the data is coming from for the particular chart that we're working on, the data filter. So based on the chart that you pick and the, and the data source that you pick, we then have the ability to go in and narrow down the groups or the particular items that we want to capture to build a chart on. One of the great features that we were able to do in here is using the drop-down grid control so that we could create a very rich selection. So when we're trying to pick a data item, we could look for something very specifically. Uh, let's say we wanted to look for scope. Um, so we can just filter for scope, and then we're going to get a scope right there, and we can select it. And it goes ahead and selects that, and then when that, that applies it to the filter, so that will um, it'll show only those. This is also a multi-select, so I can go in here and do some more filtering or more sorting. I've got paging controls. It's great. You have basically the entire DevExpress grid control inside of a drop-down box. So, for instance, if we wanted to look at only the C pieces, go up here and just put a C in. And then we'd see only the C data items. And then our query, our uh, search criteria is stored down here. And this is just really out of the box Dev Express grid control functionality within the context of a drop down box. So I could go in here and change this from C to A. And OK. And then my filter gets updated, my results set gets shrink, and then I can pick the ones that I want to show up for this particular exercise. This, the last thing I wanted to show you within the chart configuration is the ability to customize the chart itself. Um, we have the ability, the, the DevExpress chart control has tons of functionality to be able to customize, but we wanted to kind of narrow it down to the subset that would make sense for this type of charting that we were looking for. So some of the things that we added access to for the user is the chart type um, that, that they could use. So we pulled in uh, the chart type list uh, so these are the different charts that they could select from. We wanted some background imagers. So sometimes we wanted to show a scale from 1 to 10, and then we wanted a color scheme that matches that. Sometimes we just wanted a nice 
uh, background image that we could show that would highlight either the uh, client's data or be relevant to some particular data. Um, we had multiple color palettes. Um, again, depending on the background images that we used, we would want to have some color palettes that match those. And then, of course, a light and a dark appearance because of the if you had a light background or a dark background. We also had the ability to turn on and off labels um, and show the access where you wanted the access to be, how many decimal points you wanted at the beginning, max size, min size, spacing, um, and then any kind of formatting that you wanted to do. Uh, so all of that was configurable here. And then when you save that and then go to build all charts, it would then regenerate the charts with the fresh data and the fresh configuration. Uh, the last thing on the chart library that I wanted to show you was something we called the grid view. And this was a case where I wanted to go and look at a particular chart and explore the data that made up this particular chart. And then potentially if I wanted to take this data and do additional analysis on it, I'd have the ability to export it to Excel um, or if a PDF for reporting or a CSV file if I'm going to pull it into some other system. So that is the charting functionality. The final piece that we added kind of um, at the, to kind of show off the charts that we had created was we took the nav bar control um, and then gave a little way to browse the uh, images, the charts that were created. We can browse those charts by looking at, um, and this is just taking, this, this control is just reading from the SharePoint library and then filling up the nav bar, pulling in the comments based upon that we've set up, and that is the chart library. The last thing I wanted to show you that was part of the project was, uh, kind of came as an afterthought, really. Um, we were looking for, on some of the decks, they wanted to have a um, some sort of gauge, some sort of indicator of, of the overall score. And so I was able to take the gauge control from DevExpress and put it into a web control. Uh, and then include that in um, some of the generated reports. While we were doing that, we came up with the idea of actually using it for um, a drill down dashboard. So what's happening here is there's actually a link. The, uh, the user control that I created, um, you basically pass in a numeric value and then a link reference. So I can very easily, click by clicking on it, um, I can drill down and look at the next level of data uh, for each of these reporting metrics that are part of this particular report. This is actually a project management report. So for this project management assessment, you can look at all the parameters. There's actually 36 different groups, and then each group has a couple of questions in that. So using relatively simple links and just uh, recreating the, uh, the control over and over again, you're able to create a really nice dashboard. And so that, that's kind of the, the using the DevExpress gauge control. Well, that's really what I wanted to show you on this particular solution, and um, I look forward to talking with you more in the future. Thank you. Thanks, Mark. That's a stunning application. Now, if you want to learn more about how Mark used DevExpress, ASP.NET to make those fantastic charts or any of the other things that he showed, you can find him on Twitter. Thanks for choosing DevExpress, and let's see what develops.